Hello viewers and welcome back to Batman Arkham Messiah. Arkham, I almost said Arkham Messiah. I should be meaning Arkham City. So in order to continue and get to those guards, we have to follow the pipe back to the source. And you need the... And here is where the quick fire system kicks in. Uh, quick fire battering has a limited three batarangs. So they do it for three switches and you'll be able to continue on with. And let's get into another fight. So let's do a pick down, get rid of one guy. And let's start it. Let's get it off. And now these guys are starting to get created with containers, throwing containers at us. And now you can counter the containers. But I usually probably strike the guys before they throw it and try to hopefully counter. And how did I lose my combo count during a counter move? That's a little stupid. I should have gone with double counter. But as for these fights, they get a little more difficult further onward. And now let's see if I can take down and we're done. I'm just hard to kill, Harley. Just too damn hard to kill. And now we can't reach the Joker because with all the Alfred, trash in the world. Joker's hold up in the manager's office in the steel mill. I'm sure you'll find a way, sir. Of course I will. Some of his goons dragged a doctor away. I'm going to find her first, then deal with Joker. But right now we gotta find that doctor. And it is, and they do show you where it is, and it's like right this. It's a miracle! It looks perfect! Oh no, it's not you, is it? Well, yeah, that was a little strange. But I. That whole perfect. The whole being perfect thing. There's something going on, but I just can't tell at the moment. I think they're probably setting up a trap for me. But the whole perfect thing? That's a little hard to believe. Because last time we saw him, he looked like crap after after a very probably one of the better boss fights in Arkham Asylum. So let's why are we talking about oh, oh by the way we can't go through a frontal assault. We have to go around them. So we might want to keep that eye on that. Easier said than done, man. You've never seen him in action. And when I do, I'm gonna teach him not to mess with so this one's a really easy thing to get through. We just use the baggage points, take care of the guy on the top, take him down quietly, and then we can take out those two guys with a double with a double takedown. So let's continue. Onboard through this window and those Harley machines. You need the next gadget we're going to see, but time for another level up. And I go with free flow, free flow focus. It increases our speed and attack when going into the red of combo. Making our combo count much higher. 
hopefully doing much better in combat. And let's start tagging more of these little trophies because we can get to some of the trophies now, but on the return trip we may be able to retrieve more. On the return trip. Because we'll be coming back here very soon. And the reason for it is the Megan Cow is going to get to that. So, what should I explain while we are getting ready for this revenue? You know what? We'll talk about it after when we finish up the smelting chamber. Now, for this predator, for this predator map, this terrain, choose an easy double takedown move. Easy. You can do a double takedown, and then move. I don't, I try to use you can still use the inverted takedown, but it's kind of rare now. I usually just slide in and do a ground takedown, but it can make so much noise, all nearby guards are going to move. Okay, here's the situation we have. We have a doctor inside the room behind us, with two guards, and we can easily take care of those four guys easily, in the right position. As for the last two, there are there is a good way to get through this. We have to go through the vent and blow with a explosive gel, and I have to get a little fancy with the fancy with the quick fire explosive gel move. And we while we're going through this, we can easily get a ripple trophy while we're here. Okay, before we get finishing up with this. So, Harley Quinn had been changed really much since the debate in the animated series. But they did change the origin twice for her. In, in the Batman, she, she looked like a TV host. Until the Joker corrupted her and turned her into Harley Quinn. And she still stays until until the end of the season. I think third or fourth season, but I'm not sure. Give me a second. What's wrong with these people? That crazy woman thinks I can fix the Joker. What's wrong with him? There's something in his blood, some kind of toxin. It's killing him. He blames something called Titan. Titan? Yeah. Do you know what he's talking about? He kept going on about his last laugh. Uh-uh, Doc. Isn't that information supposed to be confidential? What's happening? How does she know what we're saying? Get that door sealed up nice and tight, boys. We don't want that fireman escaping, do we? At least they won't be getting in. We're safe, right? Wait here, Doctor. What the hell are you doing? I need to get out of here. Someone needs to stop Joker. Stay here. You'll be safe. You sure? If you hear anyone coming, hide. I'll be back. And now we've got the remote electrical charge gun. For the wreck. For sure. Or you see. This thing fires any an electrical pulse on any motor to attract or repel. For magnet. For they're very useful for electromagnetic, like the store, it has to go up or down. And what else do I talk about throughout? Oh yeah, the second time they changed Harley Quinn's origin are in I should head Batman Brave and the Bold. It's the only route to During a, I think you say, probably one of the more trippiest what the F episode? You you kind of know what what the there's been like two WTF moments throughout Brave and the Bold. There's been only two times things get only you know what the F 
in in my thoughts. I tried watching them, although there there are a little what the hell? It is kind of an okay thing. They do some small homages to some comic continuity. Okay. And Tony Quinn was a wax figure that was magically transformed into a real person while Joker had power to the fifth or sixth dimension. I forgot. Or maybe it was the fourth dimension, I'm not sure. I kind of forgot. It's been a while. And now we can use the record, the remote look of the church to destroy all Holy Quinn statues. And seriously, what the hell was up with all the changes? I prefer the original origin. That's all. There have been some good origins with changes over the years. Some good, some awful origins. And we will get to the awful ones. And you thought Harley Quinn changes in Origins was bad? You should see what they've done with Mr. Freeze. And I'll talk about Mr. Freeze, what the Bat the Batman TV show, what they did to him. And I know he's one of the more favorite characters because his origin is we're supposed to feel sorry for the guy losing his wife. And the Batman say, no, no, I'm not going to go there until we actually get the chance to talk about Mr. Freeze. All in all, it was a bad idea to go with. A terrible, terrible, terrible idea. I was damn angry about it. And some people actually try, and after Brave and Bold, you don't get much of the Batman villains in the other DC universe. I hopefully, hopefully they can rectify their mistakes in past continuity. And, um, in other news, the internet censorship bill. My god, that is ridiculous! Censoring the internet. I mean, that is stupid as hell. So, you should say no against the censorship. Still, right now. Um, so next time we'll, we'll have to deal with the Joker once more. And until then, see you soon next time.